Datacrons. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Folks, uh, I keep putting out Datacron videos and I know that you don't love, love them. I'm actually going to have to put out another video today just to, so I can get any number of views. Uh, I'm going to talk about my alt and the strategy, farming strategy, which won't get a ton either, but maybe combined we can get a couple. Here's the thing guys, I want to make things that are helpful to other people and the new 5v5 season is rolling out, but Conquest, more importantly, is rolling in, and you need to know what things to farm, and so this isn't how, like a how to farm things in Conquest. There's plenty of plenty of other websites or YouTube channels or just use your own gut instinct, guys, to do this stuff, but this is just a list of the most important things in this upcoming season. This is the second time where this set has been available, so that's kind of interesting in some ways. And I want, last time I made a minimum engagement date, uh, infographic, you guys said that it was too busy. There was too much going on. This is the one that I made for you guys, by the way. And, you know, I have a couple other infographics for set four. This is the first one. This is the updated one because I wanted to make a better one. But people didn't seem to think those were that helpful, I, I think. Some people did. But uh, I wanted to make sure to give you what you wanted. So this isn't even me being that sarcastic. Less info. Hopefully it helps you guys in engagement. You can find the infographic itself on my Discord server, of course, in the infographics channel toward the bottom. It's in the new players section though these aren't necessarily for new players now i just want to go over what things you're going to want and need for success in this this set for but we want to do it in a minimum of time so of course we're going to spend some time asking you to help me like subscribe mount the algorithm and the like if we can get make these video series pretty quick then maybe it'll actually be worth the time to click the thumbs up button let's get over to the infographic itself here folks so Dash, level nine, the two things that you really, really want, the things that are gonna help your guild, the things that are gonna help you, you really, really wanna do this. If you don't have Dash, you could even farm him. Honestly, you have enough time to do it. He is great with any number of characters, including Han and Chewie, or if you wanted to also farm Vander Chewie, he is amazing with Vander Chewie. So start taking out Galactic Legends in 3v3 and 5v5 pretty consistently if you do this. You'll have to use your own intuition on what sets or what level three and level five you want, or level three and level six, I should say. Uh, but you know, or you could you could look at my own stuff, or frankly, I mean, just watch my streams, watch my other videos. You could you can figure it out. So level nine on dash kills Galactic Legends. Then you want four of the Empire level sixes that reduce cooldowns based off of. The debuffs, you want that for teams such as Darth Vader, Lord Vader, Inquisitorious, EP Mara, or even EP Mara Starkiller, any combination of things, a lot of different trooper teams are going to want that. So those are the ones that you're going to want, guys. Uh, and then, uh, like, those are the, like the must-haves. You really want to focus that, and frankly, you can do that as free-to-play. My, my alt does it, and I'm just going to say this one time, I'm not telling you to spend money, but... If you want to spend money, it doesn't give you the data cash for it, but if you get the Conquest $10 pack, not the big expensive one, the $10 one, it's going to give you enough materials to get a full level 9, and then you have to get the data cash for it, but you get a full level 9 just for getting that $10 Conquest pass, along with all the other cool stuff. Best $10 you can spend on the game if you're so inclined. However, if you don't want to do that, if you do want to do that, it's your call. You can still get enough Datacrons for these must-haves. The want Datacrons, uh, if relevant, so you want one from Lord Vader that's either the fast ultimate or the tanky one. You might get one and squirrel it away for the mastery one, but keep in mind the mastery one doesn't currently work. It's supposed to stack mastery for you. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen at all. Darth Vader level 9, either one is good. The one that lets him revive is going to be better, most likely. Remember, for both Lord Vader and Darth Vader, you want the level 6 cooldown decrease. And then finally, uh, for troopers, especially 
especially now that the level uh, set 2 is gone, your troopers are going to be a lot faster and more relevant, but they also gain 10% a turn meter at the very start of their match, of their fight, uh, because they get, if they put, if you put the grit cron on them, because the grit is actually a buff and it's going to give them all 10% turn meter, which makes them even faster. Uh, it opens the door to some really interesting combos actually guys it also if a fight gets messy it also gives you more banners now for better results those are the ones that I'm like okay those ones a lot of people can get as well uh, the now as far as better results go guys I mean you can really jump down the rabbit hole here but TIE fighter pilot is just kind of an annoying one if you can get the bonus turns one he keeps taking turns you could even put him with a Lord Vader team and he defends really hard honestly like you just put that data cron on remember he's gonna want the level 6 Empire one as well and then honestly for 3v3 at least solo if you have a nest solo uh, or <laughs> she's not solo guys she's not related but if she if you have have a nest and she she gets to combine her protection with her health with grit and then she has a crazy amount of health steal so she's going to be way less killable if you give her this smuggler level 3 grit datacron really nice stuff I was able to solo something every week last week with my nest in my main on my main account in the top 50 against really good players just because of that grit cron really probably underrated honestly uh, and then you really want to focus on the level 3 accuracy buff. I'm not going to show you because I don't want to spend your precious time, but it's the one that gives you uh, the ability to give someone evasion down, I think, or maybe you get accuracy up. Maybe you get both. It only gives you like plus 40 total accuracy, but it's on both different stats. But You have to miss first for it to work, but it's also a nice buff to give to like troopers who might miss sometimes. They get more turn meter. Uh, now, I mean, that's the one you want on a lot of them. If you can get a ton of level 3 accuracy sets, that, that, that might actually really help mitigate some of the, the bastardness that some other people are going to perpetrate on you. Uh, namely, like, people putting 70 or more dodge on, or dodge or or deflection on their, uh, you know, some of their datacrons. I'm going to be facing a lot of people like that. I already have. And that's why I, this is crazy. I've been saying it forever, but... We need, I'm going to be putting accuracy arrows. I already did on Fennec and it saved me in my last match. Accuracy arrows are going to be important here because they give you 30 accuracy regardless of if it's deflection or dodge. And uh, so this is for some, for things that you need to be able to kill Galactic Legends with. Some people are going to be putting 100% dodge on something and they'll know that one counter that you use is going to be worse or is going to be more prevalent than others. So they'll, they'll be like, oh, well he uses special damage. I'm going to put deflection, 100% deflection on here and they won't be able to kill me. You need to be able to hit against that so uh, if you combine the accuracy arrows and then you also farm just the accuracy stats as well that's number eight combined so you want the level three accuracy and you want just accuracy stats for your team for your characters that's what I'm gonna be hitting a lot with my own uh, on my own roster for my main and my alt uh, and then arrows I mean I'm just gonna be applying two I think I'll put, be putting an, an accuracy arrow on Supreme Leader Kylo and one on uh, on what's her name Fennec just so I can have all my bases covered to counter the crazy Lord Vader comps that we're gonna be seeing now finally we have this evasion this, this is the one that annoys other people guys you can if you want to farm this for better results get all of the evasion stats you know the deflection and dodge just to annoy your opponent to make it so that they miss all the time that's what you, I mean that's that's very end game for these for these crons but that's how I would approach things all right uh, I mean and, and at that point you probably don't want this guide you want you want a more robust guide but you know you don't get it folks uh, no no guide further than this so uh, let me know what your thoughts are. What what crons are you excited for? I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with some of these teams that I've you know relied on team on on data cron set two for. But I don't know. It'll be fun to see how things go. I personally like data crons well enough, but I know you guys don't. Some of you don't. Anyways, I hope this helps some of you. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things. Zeres prevails.